All right, guys, this is the final part. I have 37 minutes on my phone, but I'll only talk for 20 minutes here, guys. 20, 21, 22 minutes I'll talk for. And I'm going to end this video here, here guys. I think it, I thought it would be cool to make a nice one and a half, one hour and 20 minute video is good enough. I need to, sorry, guys, I have to, I need my beer and smokes. I have to take my shower and I have to go to the store and get my beer and my smokes. I need my beer and my smokes, guys. That's why when I, when, when I what? When I what? When me and VJ build that dream condo, once that high-tech condo is built and we bought our nice, like, fridge, every time I go shopping with you, I'm always going to get, like, beer, man. I'm going to stack a lot of beer in my fridge and all that stuff. A lot of beer. Get, like, Heineken, Corona beer. Right now, I get cheap. I get the cheap Blue Ribbon beer. You guys know that beer. It's it's, it's, it's American company. American beer company. I get that cheap uh, blue ribbon beer right now because because I'm only collecting like seven hundred dollar welfare checks. But once I have billions in my back, I'm finally gonna get the top high end beers like Heineken. I might get Heineken. I might get uh, Heineken, Corona, Coors Light. But those beers are more expensive, obviously. I'm also gonna get more expensive smokes because right now I get Paul Mall pa Paul Mall smokes. You guys all know Paul Mall. It's a it's a popular cigarette brand. I get Paul Mall smokes because it's cheaper, obviously. But once I am I am king, I'm gonna get more expensive smokes like Belmont, the top notch like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen dollar pack smokes. I'm gonna get when I'm king. I'm gonna get some nice smokes for myself. More expensive smokes, not the cheaper ones, the more expensive ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Going back to Zane, you're looking at something crazy for the buzz of Zanus, man. If you think Harry Potter was popular. Think something three times that for Zanus. Two or three times that for Zanus for the fame, man. I'm going to be more famous than J.K. Rowling, man. J.K. Rowling is famous. And my Zanus will beat out Harry Potter in terms of copies sold. You're looking at, I don't know, 700 million, 800 million copies sold. A billion copies sold for Zanus. That's why I'm going to make my, like, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 billion dollars for Zanus, man. Around there, man. Around that range. Look at something crazy. Maybe you're going to be loaded. Yeah, and that's why Vijay will be so proud of me. Ivan, I'm so proud of you, sweetie. You did it. You know what I'm saying? You saved me. I see you now. The crying stopped. So every time, whenever I sleep next to Vijay, I'm going to see Vijay. I don't know. I, 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 some, one, I, I, I wake up in the middle of the night. I see Vijay sleeping. And you see her sleeping like sleeping like a baby. I'm like, oh, my God. Look at Vijay. She's sleeping like a baby. You know, she sees me now. She, because she now sees me, she can now sleep well. She can sleep well, obviously. As long as she sees hell, she chooses to be crazy. VJ can easily sleep through the black screen. She's just crazy. She wants to see the light badly, and she, 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 she wants to be saved desperately, obviously. She's desperate to be saved. She's desperate because VJ knows she got duped, and she knows I'm her last hope. Hence why VJ is so desperate, and she cries to me every night. Because she knows that if, <laughs> if I don't save her, she'll be sabotaging Hollywood, left behind. She'll be seeing hell forever. Hence why VJ just goes crazy, and she cries every night. I'm her last hope, man. Without me, she's fucked, man. VJ sold out. It's too late for VJ. Whereas I didn't get... VJ got duped. Just like Eve got duped and she ate the apple. Adam didn't get duped. Adam knew full well what he was doing when he ate that apple. He voluntarily chose to eat the apple to, 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 to save his wife. Obviously. Because Adam knew, yeah, if, if I have two choices. Either I, what? I, I get to be in God's presence in paradise and my wife is cast off from God's presence because she sinned. Obviously. Or I eat the apple with her and I take the blame. Take the fall for it. And uh, just like Jesus voluntarily took the fall for the, for the sin of mankind, you know what I'm saying? Just like I am voluntarily dying for my wife. I, like, you know, VJ didn't, when, when VJ sold out, she got duped. She didn't know what she was doing. Whereas Ivan Amara did not get duped. Ivan Amara knows full well what he's doing. I know full well what I'm doing when I pay this fee. Whereas VJ got duped. She got duped. She, 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 what? She ate that apple, obviously. She, 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 she made a deal with the devil, obviously. And now she, she sees hell. And now the mess happened. And now. Her career sabotage, she got duped, obviously, yeah. But Ivan Omera did not get duped. That's the symbolism, obviously. I, Ivan Omera did not get duped. I know full well what I'm doing. I know I, I know the, the I know what? I know the details of the game. I know if I sold out, you guys will win the game. You get your full cake. I get a garbage wife. I'm not fucking stupid, man. Yeah, man. My wife is trash leftovers. End the video here in 15 and a half minutes here, guys. Yeah, man. Sixteen and a half minutes, I'll end it. Yeah, man, you're looking at crazier buzz in Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is pop. I remember, like, last week, when I went to go get beer and smokes, I saw someone walking his dog. He had the Lord of the Rings book. I believe he was reading Return of the King. I saw the green... I saw the green, uh, the green ring, right? 
he was reading Return of the King. I'm like, holy shit, he's reading. Return of the he has he had the exact same box that I had, the exact same Lord of the Rings edition that I had, obviously, right? And he was reading it while he was walking his dog. Yeah, he was reading Lord of the Rings while he was walking his dog. Obviously, he was reading Lord of the Rings while he was walking his dog. I'm like, holy shit, he's a Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, Lord of the Rings has crazy fans worldwide, man, all over Canada. The States, Europe, a lot of crazy fans, Lord of the Rings fans around the world, obviously. You will think something crazier than that from Isaiah's book. For all these fans on Lord of the Rings Reddit are going to become crazier Last Hope of Zane's fans than what they even are for Lord of the Rings. Because my book is barely Lord of the Rings. Yeah, even though Jared Tolkien wrote a mask, he's man, Ivan's book is fucking more interesting than Lord of the Rings. I was far more entertained watching Ivan's fucking... I, reading Ivan's fucking books and I was reading Jared Tolkien's book. Jared Tolkien's book is a little dry and boring. Yeah, it's a little dry and boring. Even though it's a masterpiece... It's known for being a little dry and boring. Hence why I like the movies better than the books. Whereas a lot of fans like the books better than the movies, but the, the, the movies are better than the books, man. The books are a drag to read, man. Whereas the movies are actually entertaining. They're entertaining to watch. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Lord of the Rings can be a bit boring when you watch it, obviously. Because there's slow, especially Two Towers. Two Towers has very, very slow pacing. But in my opinion, even though it's slow, it's, 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 it's very, very slow pace, the story is amazing. The build-up of the Helmsley battle, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a masterpiece. I like Two Towers the best. Two Towers is when you get introduced to the, to, 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 to the Rohirrim, the people of Rohan, the people of Gondor, of Gollum. Whereas Falls of the Ring, you, you, you don't really get to explore Middle-earth. It's just a nine through Moria, you know what I'm saying? And, and in the end, Strider fights all the orcs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very linear, the, the first one. And that's why I, I like Two Towers better than Falls of the Ring. But Falls of the Ring is better than Return of the King, though, you see what I'm saying here? It's better than Return of the King. Yeah. It's better than Return of the King. Yeah. In 13 minutes here, guys, I'll end the video here, guys. Oh, I mean, you're real so interesting. Yeah, sorry, guys. I have to go to the store. I need to get my beer and my smokes. I have to get my beer and my smokes, guys. That's how it's going to work. Obviously. Yeah. And that's why what? You're looking at crazy, crazy worldwide buzz for Zanus, man. For my books, it's awesome for Zanus. You're looking at something crazy, man. Something crazy for the for the book sales for Zanus. Think something crazy for the worldwide buzz for Zanus, man. Something fucking crazy, man, for the worldwide buzz for Zanus. Think something crazy, man. Something crazy for the little white bus for Zanus. Yeah, man. Something fucking crazy. Yeah. You look at something crazy for Zanus. <laughs> for my Zanus story. Yeah, man. Even the Hollywood celebrities are going to be shocked my book. Guys like Biebs, Drake, Timberlake, Will Smith, Keanu Reeves, Scott Johansson, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., Dwayne Johnson. When they, when they remember, they're like, holy shit, I wrote a masterpiece, man. Yeah. They're also going to be hooked too. Remember them too. I don't know. They ordered the prints. They order the ebook. They pay the twenty two bucks for the ebook. Obviously, they read it on their laptop, and like you see all these, all these. Even the celebrities are gonna order takeout with my book. Holy shit, Ivan's book's interesting. They order takeout. They binge. You guys are all you celebrities are all gonna binge volume one, you binge volume two, you binge volume three. Holy shit, this book is sick. This is a sick ass book, man. Yeah, man. This is a sick ass book. Yeah. This book is sick. Yeah. And once you guys finish reading the book, especially the actors for Zanius. Once they finish reading Zane's, they're like, holy shit, Ivan was right. His book is the best fantasy story ever told in motion picture, man. This is even better than Lord of the Rings. I can't wait to bring all these characters to life in the movie, yeah. I can't wait to bring the character of Tacitonius, you know what I'm saying, Papyri, Cornelius, Eli, Sirius, Job, Lithia, Bell, Mary, Tacius, the first, Tacius the second, Tacitonius... Bring all those characters to life. Cassius, you know what I'm saying? Queen Sarah, Job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Baramis, Lithius. I can't wait to. Eritaph of Full Morale. I can't wait to bring all these characters to life. Ephesus, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, crazy. In other words, the actors are going to be excited to bring these characters to life. I can't wait for Ivan to adapt us to the big screen and, and ha have his bring these characters life. But the actors are all going to be curious. The actors for Zanus are all going to be curious. Okay, let's see if Ivan's really going to start skyscraping with his wife. Okay, if we see Ivan trunning with George Lucas, that's the cue. Ivan is starting skyscraping with his wife. If you see me trunning with George Lucas, 
I'm giving you the cue that I'm starting Scarces with George. I'm me and Vijay are starting Scarcers. If you don't see me training with George Lucas, then chances are me and Vijay are not starting Scarcers. But the chances of me and Vijay not starting Scarcers is like 10%. There's a 90% chance I'm going to start I'm making up numbers here. There's a 90% chance I'm going to start Sky Source. Because I, it's a dream of mine to be a famous movie star. And I, I, I want, you, you have no idea how badly I want to turn my masterpiece into the big screen. Pour $980 million towards that movie, man. Unheard of technology for world building, action sequences, and the horror of the wolves. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Something crazy. End the video here in nine and a half minutes here, guys. Don't hate me and say, don't hate me, guys. Yeah. End the video here in what? In uh, in a good nine and a half minutes here. Yeah, man. And then once you see me training with George Lucas with VJ, all the actors are in Hollywood. I'm like, holy shit, Ivan really is starting Sky Source. You know what I'm saying? And especially the actors who are saying they're all going to be excited and happy. Oh my, I can't wait to be a part of this movie. Ivan and Vijay are really starting Sky Source. Yes. And two months go by, you see me training George Lucas, and the year goes by, the, the buildings are all built on the property. And me and Vijay hired our seven team, our photographers. Best photographers in the magazine business we can hire. The best web designer in the business who works for the big five companies we can hire. The best two graphic designers we can hire to edit our pictures. And we hired a, a top-notch doc crew. In Hollywood, and they're going to be filming our, our document, our movie documentary, for pre-production, production, and post-production. That's why we're looking at the best documentary ever, obviously. Yeah, and George Lucas will be consulting, obviously, for for for, for, for my last Wednesday's movie. I need a consultant for my first movie. That way, you can help me and VJ run the company, and John Favreau will run the company. George, help me, VJ. Give us tips how to run the company. I've never, I, I never owned my own film company before. I need you consulting. Yeah, I mean, I'll help you out. Yeah, you barely be working, George. I'll pay you your thirty thousand dollars every year. Just consult and, and just consult, and that's it. And you better be doing work, and you get your thirty thousand dollar paycheck, which is nice. <laughs> thirty thousand dollars a year for consulting is a nice paycheck, man. Before I said three hundred k, no, he's ripping you off. That, that's being wet. You're being way too generous. No, pay him thirty thousand dollars a year. That's good enough for George Lucas for consulting, and you pay for his feeding and living too. It's a good deal for him. Obviously, if he's greedy and he wants like sixty thousand, I'm like George. I'm not going to pay you that for consulting. Thirty thousand dollars is more than enough. Yeah, I have an instant deal. Yeah, it's it's fucking good. I'm paying you one hundred twenty thousand dollars for the four years. That's that's a lot of money for for a consultant, man. It's good enough. You see what I'm saying? And then once the office is over for business, all the actors for Zanus, chosen for Zanus, their agents are gonna immediately call me. Okay, guys, don't worry. When when once Ivan's office is over for business, we're gonna call his office right away. Call the office right away. That because the, the the what the agents are scared that if they don't call. My office right away. They, I, I even might choose someone else. He might, he might cast someone else. Calls office right away. This is a huge opportunity, guys. To be an, an, Ivan, an Ivan movie. Yeah, that's why their agents are all going to call. All the agents in Hollywood representing these actors are all going to call my office. This has been crazy, man. This is guys from entertainment. How am I help you? This is such and such. I represent this actor. You know what I'm saying? You guys just started your film company. Yes, we did. You're doing. Yeah, we're doing our la the last one for Zane's movie project. You know what I'm saying? And then the secretaries tell the actors, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. You guys are casted for the role. The actors are all joining for joy. For Zanes, they're all happy. They're all excited. They're joining for joy. Yeah, and I want them filming that. Hey, guys, fly to where the actors live and have the agents call the actors and let the actors know and you get the actors' reaction. You get the actors' reaction on the uh, on, 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 on the document. You can do that if you want. Something cool like that. You know you have draft day? When, 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 when players get drafted to play for the teams, obviously, you see the players all excited and all stuff. Yeah, think something like that for what? For the actors. They're going to be excited when, 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 what? When my secretaries give their agents a call. Hey, you've been casted for the movie. You see Avon, Joe J, Johnny for Joy. You see John Boyega, Ayers Alba, Ariana Grande, Danielle Manette, Don Cheadle, Andy Serkis, the actor for Queen Sarah. You see them all jumping for joy. Oh my god, we're going to be in an Ivan and VJ movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking cool. It's every actor's dream to be in an Ivan movie, man. To be in an Ivan and VJ movie is every actor's dream. To act alongside God in a fucking big budget movie, man. Especially a story like Zanus fighting the devils. And experience that failing with them is every actor's dream, man. Every actor's ultimate dream is to go to Hollywood and be bland big budget movie roles. Be an ace actor. But the ultimate dream is to work for Sky Source and be in an Ivan and VJ movie. Because now Sky Source, Sky Source is now the big dog. It's bigger than even Disney, Warner Bros., Universal, Paramount, and all those companies. It's bigger than all those companies. That's why all the actors are going to want to work with me so bad. 
And they're all going to envy these actors for saying it so much. They're going to give them all these dirty ass stares, man. Fuck, man, these actors are fucking lucky, man. You're going to see Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver giving Andy Serkis, John Baega, Daisy Ridley giving John Baega dirty ass stares. Because they know they're the lucky chosen who are going to be in IMG's movie. And they're gonna, yeah, John's going to get experience that fame with Ivan, worldwide fame with Ivan. And part of that buzz for the movie, obviously, the billionaire budget movie. Ivan's paying him more money than even what Hollywood pays us on average. Yeah. As Oscar Isaac probably only makes on average two, three million per movie. On average. He probably only got like a million, five, two million for Dune. And yeah, I just paid John Boyega $8.9 million for the role. That's more than what he even makes on average in Hollywood. Yeah. That's why he's going to give John Boyega those dirty ass stares. Adam Driver is going to give John Boyega dirty ass stares. Daisy really will give John Boyega dirty ass stares. Yeah. Leon Thomas will give people like Avon, Joe and what? Daniel Manette, Ariana Grande, dirty stares too. Because three, only three of those actors from Victorious were chosen, while the other three were not chosen. You know what I'm saying? Liz Gillith will give Ariana Grande and, and, and what? And, 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 and what? Ariana Grande and Danielle Manette, Avon Joy, Dirty Stars 2. Yeah, man. As well as the, the guy with the glasses. I don't know his name. That guy, that nerdy kid with the glasses. The kid who looks like a nerdy, like a nerd, obviously, with the glasses. He's also going to give Ariana Grande, Avon Joy, and Danielle Manette, Dirty Stars 2. Yeah, man. Because they all want to be on Weasel. But fuck, man, you guys are lucky, man. Like, you, Ivan chose three actors from Victorious. You have a Victorious Union, but he didn't choose us. Yeah, because those actors are not good for the movie, obviously. Ivan chose three three of the actors from Victorious, and he didn't choose us. Because those other three actors are not good for Zanus. So the other three, Danielle Manette, Ariana Grande, and Avon Jose are perfect for Zanus, man. They're perfect for the role, man. I know what I'm doing. Avon Jose is perfect for the role Papari. Trust me, read the book. Too. I mean, yeah, I can picture him as Papari with a beard. I want him having a beard. Um, Danielle Manette is perfect for the role of Mary. You'll see what I mean when you read the book, man. Yeah, I can picture her as Mary, yeah. And Ariana Grande is perfect for the role of Belle, yeah. She's weird and victorious, yeah. She's perfect for, 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 for what? For, 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 for Zanus. Yeah, man. And those three actors in Victorious are going to ask those three actors for word, too. You're going to see Leon Thomas, Liz Gillis, whatever her name is, begging Yvonne Joji for word, too. Yvonne Joji, Ariana Grande, Danielle Manette for word, but they're not going to give word. Because Hollywood's selfish, obviously. <laughs> I'm not giving you word. No, I'm not giving you word, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm not giving you word. Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver are going to give what? They're also going to give John Baega. They're going to ask John Baega and Andy Serkis for word, man. Hey, John Baega, Andy Serkis, fellow co-star to co-star. We did Star Wars together, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. They're not going to give word. Hey, man, can you can you please congrats, congrats man. You, you're you're going to be... They're, they're not going to congratulate them because they're, they're going to be envious. Fuck, man, you guys are lucky, you know what I'm saying? You guys be nice. Well, hey, can you give I we a good word about you, man? Please, man. We really want me this movie, man. Please. Yeah, don't worry. I'll give him word. They don't give word. <laughs> They're not going to give word. I'm not giving you word. When I was when I, when I I asked you for word, you brushed me aside. So I'm not giving you word. Yeah. Oscar Isaac and Adam Driver obviously brushed guys like John Boyega aside, man. As Oscar Isaac and Adam Driver are A-list actors. They're not big. Their smaller A-list actors are kind of like, eh, they're not that big. But they've been landing some big budget movie roles over the past couple years. Whereas John Boyega has been struggling, you know what I'm saying? To land big budget movie roles for, for, for the past couple years. You see what I'm saying? Right? After Star Wars, he, he, he's been doing like independent movies. Because he's not an ace actor. That's why he struggles getting big budget movie roles. You see what I'm saying? But chances are John Boyega, probably in a good year's time, you might see him land a pretty major role in a big budget movie. Because he, he has a pretty good agent. Because he's a rising star, obviously. Adam Driver and Oscar Isaac guaranteed he asked for word. And they, they, he never with them. They never gave word, man. And so what makes you think he's going to give word to Ivan? I'm not giving you word. You brush me aside. So I'm not giving you word. Like, fuck you. I'm not giving you word. I'm saying, yeah. I'm not giving you word. You brush me aside. I'm not giving you word. Yeah, man. They're not going to give word. To end off here, guys like guys like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth. You know what I'm saying? Chris Hemsworth. Scott Johansson. Obviously. You know what I'm saying? All those actors who were in Marvel, obviously. Mark Ruffalo, the guy who played Hulk, obviously. You know what I'm saying? All those actors are going to ask what? <laughs> Chris Pratt, they're all going to ask uh, Don Cheadle for word, man. And I just Alba. I just Alba was in Marvel too, right? Hey, Don Cheadle, fellow Coastal Coastal, we did Marvel together. We did Iron Man together, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. He's not going to give word, obviously. <laughs> Hey man, can you can, can you please give I music a robot? I really want to be this movie, man. Please, man. They're gonna, they're gonna beg. Please, Don. Like I'm not king around. Can you please just give him a good word about me, man? I really want to be this movie, man. Please, man. And Don's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll give word. He doesn't give word. 
<laughs> it's actually funny. He doesn't give word. I'm not giving you word. You brushed me aside. So I'm not giving you word. You guys, you fucking deserve. Yeah, man. He's not going to give word, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., Scott Johansson, those actors are big, man. They land all these big watching roles every year, man. They're big A-list actors. Whereas Don Cheadle, he, he lands people's rules, but he, he, he doesn't have the kind of success that they have. He's a small A.S. actor. And he struggles a little bit to, la to land all these people's rules. And that's why when he's in my movie, he's not going to give those guys word. I'm not giving you word. You brush me his eyes. I'm not giving you word. I just, Alba's not going to give word either. He's not going to, he's not going to. Chris Hemsworth and all of them are going to ask, I just offer word too. I just, Alba was in Marvel. He was in Thor. He was in Marvel of Avengers Infinity War in the beginning of the movie. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to give, hey, I just, can you, fellow close to we did Marvel together. Chris Hemsworth might ask him for a word, hey, can you give him a good word about me, man? I didn't you a word about me. Yeah, don't worry, I'll give a word. He doesn't give a word. Nah, they're not going to give a word. I'm not, I'm not giving you a word. You brushed me aside, so I'm not giving you a word. Yeah, they're not going to give a word, obviously. Because Hollywood's selfish. They don't want these guys to rise their level. You didn't give me a word when I asked you for a word, and, and, and we're all struggling a little bit to land all these roles. Would you, would you guys, you guys land all your big budget roles with ease? Obviously, because guys like Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, and Chris Hemsworth land big budget movie roles with ease. Chris Hemsworth, you see him doing all these big budget movies every year. Scarlett Johansson, you see her doing big budget movies every year. Robert Downey Jr. does big budget movies every year. Yeah, man, they're all doing big budget movies every year. Whereas Don Cheeto does big budget movies, but he struggles a little bit because he's not a big A list actor. You see what I'm saying? Here? That's why when those big actors ask him for word, when they ask Irish R for word, they're not going to give them word. Like, I'm not giving you word. You brush yourself, I'm not giving you word. Yeah, that's how crazy it's going to be for, with the actors in Hollywood, man. You're looking at something crazy for the network in Hollywood. All the when all these actors go to go, I'm going to tell the actors, look, you guys are more than happy to go to events in Hollywood during the four years of Zanus. The, one, 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 the only time I will not let the actors go 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 on, go to events is when they're filming when we're filming the movie, obviously. But if, if for, during the first year and second year, the actors are more than, will most likely be going to some events in Hollywood. And when they do, and me and Vijay have the keys, everyone will know that we signed them. Hence why all the actors in Hollywood are going to network with all these actors. They're going to ask them for word. And the actors are all going to say they're going to word. None of them are going to give word because we live in a selfish world, obviously. That's how crazy it's going to be with the Hollywood actors. Hence why Vijay made that bang on your knee song. Because the you world will beg for forgiveness, but it's too late. The judgment of God is set upon the world you're left behind. And what? As you killed Nelson Matthews with his wife, obviously, and you caused mess in his life, and at the same time, the actors, all the actors in Hollywood are going to beg these actors for word. Desperately beg these actors for word. But these actors are not going to give a word for Zanus. And all the actors chosen for Zanus are going to beg their ass off when we went to sign him. Because me and my wife are that special. We're fucking God. That's how crazy it's going to be with the Hollywood actors in Hollywood, man. You look at something crazy. <laughs> something fucking crazy, man. With the actors, all they're all gonna desperately beg these actors for word, man, because they'd rather work for me, man. My company's better than Hollywood. Yeah, we know Ivan's company is independent from Hollywood, and it's also bigger than Hollywood now. He's putting a billion dollars worth of money into Zanus. Was Hollywood can't afford to do that? Hollywood, on average, most movies are 100 million, 150 million budget movies on average. 200 million dollars are a bit more rare, but 150 is the average around there for big budget movies in Hollywood. Yet the average for my movies is like 650 million dollars. For my movies. My, my company blows all out of the water. Yeah, man. Anyways, if this video... Sorry, guys. I'm only going to make an hour and 20 minute video. Oh, I you're real so interesting. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to upload my video, take my shower, go to the store, have my anxiety trip, obviously, and get my beer and my smokes. I'll come back, watch some Rad Brad, and I'll, watch, I'll come back and enjoy the show. Ivan Amara, I'm signing out. Peace.